Well, hey guys, I've got a really great video to bring for you today. As you can see, I've got my new patio door installed. If you want to see how I went from this now to the new, uh, check out this video. Uh, I'll walk you through step by step on how to get all this installed. Um, go ahead and kind of jump straight into this. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is uh, work on the inside and take a knife blade and trim around the edge of your trim and you want to take the inside trim off. The reason you need to do that is so you can get a very accurate measurement of the rough opening. By taking that trim off, you will uh, expose the two by fours in the wall and you get exact rough opening so you can get your measurements correct when you go to order your door. So what we did is did uh, got the trim work off, uh, went to Lowe's, uh, put our order in. We had to wait quite a few weeks. It came in and then from there, I'll walk you through step-by-step step on getting this installed. So you know me guys, let's get busy. guys now fast forward about six weeks or so uh, we have been to Lowe's we've ordered our door our new door is in uh, this is it here uh, it's pretty much uh, the same as the old except for this is vinyl clad instead of metal uh, and we also went with a non-grid uh, cleaning around these grids which is here is just the biggest pain in the backside and so we wanted to order one it was a little more modern looking and it's going to be easier maintenance on us so anyway now I've got to go ahead and cut uh, all of the screws that lock us in. I'll use that with, I'll use a reciprocating saw. I'll get all of this freed up and then we will push and kick it out and get this out of the way and then work to prepping the door jam for this one to go in. Okay guys, so I got the door out and one thing that I discovered is they put in this particle board, I'm pretty sure just as a spacer to get the door to the right height. I don't know why they use particle board instead of plywood, but anyway, uh, this has probably been in, well it's 2022 and it's been in since 1991. So uh, there has gotten a little bit of moisture in there and of course if you know particle board when it gets wet it just turns to sawdust terrible product to use for this purpose so anyway I'm working on cleaning up seal plate uh, taking care of any damage that I've got and then I'm gonna get rid of this I do need this the spacer to make sure the new door is the right height so uh, I'm gonna use a regular piece of ply instead of this so anyway we're gonna finish cleaning up all this uh, I've got to do a little bit of prep I'm gonna have to do uh, some sawing I'll show you this in a minute and uh, we're just going to prep to get everything ready for the door to slide and set it. This is the main subfloor and as I told you before they had the uh, particle board as a spacer. I'm going to be using this. It's a half inch thick and that gets my height right. Uh, I'm also going to work it up to where I'm right up beside this moisture barrier which is an aluminum plate. It's like a Z-bin. It goes down, out, and down. Um, used to be that you would take, once you got all this in place, you would do this special sealer tape here, you'd go out and lap it down. But on this new system, they're actually using a tray. And so, let me back the camera up a little bit and try to demonstrate. So when I'm over here, I don't have enough spacing for this right here to come and fit. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna take my skill saw and the way, let me bring the camera back over. And I'm just gonna cut out and give me a little bit of space to work this in. So once I get all of this set in place, this will come down like this. This will, this will all lock in. And then, uh, so if any water uh, comes down, it's gonna hit this plate and be forced to go out on top of my moisture plate. Uh, and I might not be calling it the right name, but anyway, it's a ZBM piece of aluminum. So the water would go down, it would not go into the wood, it would be shunned out and go down onto the ground. So anyway, I'm going to get my skill saw. I'm going to run and open the rest of these up the way I've done here. I really like this a lot better because now there's plenty of room for the moisture and crud and stuff. If it gets out, it's going to come out and go down. And the guys, this is none of this is going to be seen because once the uh, door is in place, there is a base plate on the door frame and it comes out about this far. Uh, it's an aluminum plate and it will cover all this up and you'll never see it. 
So uh, anyway, time for me to grab the skill saw and I need to make my cuts, clean all this up. We'll get the seal plate down, we'll get the plastic on, and then we'll be ready to set the door. Okay guys, I've got everything ready and now I'm going to go ahead and drop in this uh, uh, plastic uh, plate or pan that they, that they that you build that absolutely makes sure the water will shunt out. Um, so anyway, I'm going to set this with silicon. And so... Do the other corner and then we set the center one last. So we are good to go. And so now we are ready to lift and slide this over and see if we can get it in place. It's going to be kind of tight, but if my measurements is right, it should fit. Okay guys, I'm down on the short strokes now. I have only got left to do is the trim moldings on the inside. So I'm gonna try something and hope this works. I do not own a miter saw to cut my 45, so I'm gonna have to freehand it. But what I did do is I saved my old pieces um, and I'm using these to make sure I get my marks exactly the same. So anyway, wish me luck. I'm gonna try to get this cut just right. I'm gonna cut just outside the line, try to barely keep the pencil mark, and I'm gonna go real slow, and hopefully I can do a decent cut. The one cool thing is, even if it's not a perfect exact cut, when uh, you silicon all your edges and your joints, should be able to cover up any imperfection. So anyway, let's see what we can do. Well guys, I'm so glad to get this project finished. As you can see, I've still got to do a little bit more with the trim work outside and I have got to get it painted. We're into the wintertime cold months and I'm in prime. I'm not worried about it. This will be a project for the spring. So guys, um, uh, thanks so much for stopping by. Remember here at Project Next One, there's always one more. I will be sure, I'd love for you to check out, uh, since we're kind of getting into building through the winter, doing building projects, uh, we just finished recently uh, a build over at my youngest boy's house with uh, a double-decker uh, swing set slide setup uh, that's really cool. And I helped him with doing all the roofing work on it and I also helped him get started with the uh, the, the main uh, foundation of it squared up and, and started. So anyway, guys, I will include that in the end screens up top. Be sure to go check that out. And for now, guys, you have a great uh, week upcoming. Stay safe and thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.